Even that vision more, or did you just kind of keep getting that on your own? Um, was there like one? I'm not gonna say it was all me. Um, I'm not. But my dad was in and out of prison. My mom stayed with the both on drugs. Yeah. Um, siblings. Hold on real quick. Oh, you're good, man. Um, but yeah, I had people helping, for real. But it was me that I had this vision on where it came from. And I just knew that it would get me somewhere better than what I was at. So I did it. been doing it, man. And look, and here's, right now there's someone listening to this show that's right where you were back then that maybe doesn't even have that vision or have any hope. And just by you sharing this, is making them think, oh my God, or her. I, I have hope. Uh, somebody asked me yesterday, uh, they said to me, E, how do you know, like legitimately, like your parents said no, you know, your pastor might have said no, you know, your wife or husband said no. Like, how do you know when to quit? You know, because they were like, yo, I, I, this is what I think I'm called to do, but like, at what point do I abandon this because I'm not seeing the results? Mm -hmm. And I said to that individual, I, there's one thing I can tell you no matter what has happened to me as it relates to this gift or this ministry, whatever you want to call it, a calling, that my heart was always in it. Yeah. And so I said, once your heart is out of it, then you need to get out of it. You know, so but, but if it's yeah. just you don't have the money, but your heart is still in it, you feel it like this is, you know, and so for me, I'm homeless, high school dropout, whatever, college, got kicked out of college on academic probation, took 12 years. My heart was never like, I don't want to finish school. It's so big. It's so tall. There's so much involved. It takes so much time, so much cost. And it can be overwhelming to the point that you stay paralyzed. A real practical framework. If I get around the right people and I get in the right places, even, you know, even if they can't do everything for me, but they could just give me some advice. If I'm around the right people and in the right places where I can just observe and watch hmm. I'm around the right people and in the right places, opportunity comes to me and that's what we all long for is the opportunity to do the work that matters deeply to us uh, it, it works i mean and i like how you share your own story throughout it as you're not just talking theories you you've lived it and also then you really get deeper into not just being around the right people but the, taking it to a whole other level of actually building relationships back to a real quick show start that waitress who told me to get on stage and do comedy and i signed up for her um was uh lucy lou the actress yeah um, oh really was, uh, funny story yeah so she i mean she was in college when i knew her um you know before, from from the kill bill and stuff um yeah and then she was on she's on elementary yeah yeah so she actually signed me up for huh. open mic but she was 20 something and I, you know, and then she graduated from college and she went off and I've never talked to her since. But it's weird because it's, uh, she literally pushed my life. That one interaction with her and then me saying yes, literally then uh, like a video game, you just opened up all these new levels. Yeah. That wasn't there for you prior to me walking into that place. Like sometimes I think like, but like, you know, you have choices in, in life. And you go this way. Just, just like a game, then all this gets blacked out. Yeah. Let me be real. They don't know what when I started my company, it was the recession. Okay, no one would invest in me. Yeah. I couldn't get a loan. Like, first of all, you've got to go and do whatever it takes to start building yourself and showing and proving that you can build something that people have something to invest in. Don't just sit there and say, I have this great idea. I want all of you to give me a bunch of money because like you have to earn your respect yeah, yeah. first too. And I said, the reason I had you do that is because you're growing and you need to understand that the banks are your partners and you're gonna grow that way. If I give you the money, you're not growing. Mm -hmm. And that, but she knocked on fifth, the 15th one gave her the money. And she did. And she, Sometimes when people are thinking about becoming a millionaire, they're thinking just about the, the accounting side and working with a CPA. But when you started diving right into the importance of belief, something like 97% of millionaires believe they control their own destiny. Can you talk about like some things that you discovered from that? Well, I mean, 
what's possible for you and what you can accomplish, I think is absolutely crucial. So that goes to the mindset you have. What are you telling yourself? You know, it's one thing to hear things from other people uh, and, and, you know, to get encouragement or even maybe be hearing people having certain limitations mm. for what they think that you can do. Uh, but I, I tell people all the time, I accept compliments from anybody, but I don't accept limitations from no one. Mm. And so I think that's a big, strong statement for us to make sure that we're clear on what's possible for us. Uh, I always say never give up. Like I've thrown in the towel a lot and God's like, pick, cool, yeah, pick it back towel. up, dude, yeah, wake yourself off. Yeah. Like, all right, I'll wake up and start again. But then I'll get like a, something from someone it may be a, an email or, or something that right at the right time too that just reminds me yeah. it's not even yeah. money yeah. it'll be an email that'll come and they'll be like i was going through a really dark time and i i was listening to your show lately because i'm so busy with my other companies i was thinking for a while i don't know if i want to keep, keep doing, doing it this year. and i get that email and then that's where god's like it's yeah. not about that's you it. that's that's it. Right. Like it's not about you don't get to give up. Yeah, like it. yeah, you don't get to give up. I like that. Yeah. You can use that. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I don't get to give up. Yeah.